Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Good evening, Wandering Beekeeper here. We'll get started in just a second with 24th of summer of year five at Tertiary Farm with our farmer Iglantis, the bigly human plant elemental who is about to propose to the goth gamer who lives uh, with their parents at the grocery store. This is going to be interesting. <clears throat> Let's see. If you're there, say hi in the chat room. I am watching it. And if you can hear the sound from the game, please let me know. We had a problem with that last week. Get going. We have a farm to run. Ooh, it's raining. It's always nice. Yay. Grab those and go chugging. Rain is sort of a good news, bad news situation. In this case, oh, it is a day early. We we need the we end of the week to roll. For those two gifts to kick in, and that last heart to tick over. At which point. Then we can go to the beach. Never let it be said. Uh-oh. 
We got problems here. Get rid of that. Sure, that was. Grass or recipient tree. Oh boy. Okay, gonna be working indoors today. I got it. I got it. Nothing going to the side. We could send the honey there. What about to this side? Doesn't look like anything going. In Side other than fish eggs. This is all going to the shipping bin. Let's get to the shipping bin. Kind of what it looked like here earlier today. Got off from the day gig and went and sat out on the upstairs porch. I love this log cabin for that. It there is an upstairs porch over the over the front porch, and it is back in behind the tree, behind the canopy. So it's kind of shady and secluded on one end, and passably sheltered. Also, the outside end does get wet pretty quick. And I was watching this storm roll in. I'd just gotten off from the day gig and was sitting out on the porch. As you do after work, you know. As you do. Hey, come on. Can't drive. Hey, how's that? Well, that going in there and everything else going down to the uh, shipping bin here. All right. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, that's a lot of. Let's see. Oh, I needed to do a couple of runs of pale ale. I gotta burn off some of these hops. No. I think that'd be a... I don't think that'd be a tasty experience. Hops are aromatic herb. They're not meant to be... They're grown as... A flavoring and active ingredient. So I missed one. I did the reload last time. There is no game audio. Botheration. Oh, hello, Freya. Thank you for pointing that out. Let me see. I can do anything about that. Maybe it's a problem in OBS. You pause the game a moment.
Mm. Well, no foo. Let me try this. Okay, do you hear game audio now? You do. There we go. <clears throat> I'm now hearing it in my headphones. So, still taking care of a small problem there. Doing here. For midsummer, that's actually respectable. Not worried about it. There is anything that's going to grow in only three days. Wheat, however, will go across the seasonal line. So I can use it as a short term band aid, effectively. to leave everything else unharvested. All that starfruit, I don't want to replant that right now. I'm going to leave it for a day. Let the Junimas get it. Oops. Inventory full. stuff. That needs to go on into the house. Let me bypass. I'll do the rest of the garden here. Oh, I've got more dead plants. It's disconcerting. Let's get this ancient fruit wine down here to the cellar and get it stashed because I'm going to... Ooh, something's popped. Um... Well, let's put Pale Ale in. This Glorioski, I got a lot more already, and I'm about to have a lot more. So, I don't know, I may do a whole cellar of Pale Ale at some point. That could be intense. Um... I should have cleared while I was in here.
Yes, I'm being a little wistful and a little ahead of myself. But there's also... Forage here. Being a stormy day, well... Yep, yep, yep. I know, I know. What I need to do is go use up some of this bait. <clears throat> I came down storming pretty hard here earlier. I was out on the porch and watching the rain as it was picking up and seeing some lightning. And, and then there was a ground strike about two properties away. Just, you know, not the neighbor, but over on the far side of the of them and in, in the Maldonado's back field. There's a ground strike, and I see this huge bolt of lightning, and a second later, there's this ripping crack, and I'm like, okay, I'm going inside. That was a little too close. I would like um, a Faraday cage around me, please. That's enough of that. <clears throat> it was impressive to watch, though, from the main room of the cabin, looking out the big picture windows across the pasture, and watching the rain coming down in gusts and waves across the field. Okay, whoops. Wait a second. I gotta, I mean, you have to, you know? Alright. Pretty sure that in actuality the uh, fish would be packed in dry ice or something. 
Oh, there we go. Now you can come on. It's 10.20, that stuff can wait until tomorrow. It's a loose junk, really. Rest spinner. Okay. Let's see how we did for today. Toad board says 18,781. Which, for late summer, right before the end of season harvests come in, is really not bad. It's those turnover points. Of course, I've tried to plan and plan my crops so that I will get every growing day out of the season that I possibly can. Just like real life, you want to try and get every growing day you can out of the out of your field. One of the first rules of survivable of sustainable agriculture is to obtain a yield. Understand that that yield may or may not be in a form you can immediately use yourself. Every output should align with an input. Whoops. We gotta put coffee on last night.
43 jars of pickled tomatoes and 43 more jars just started and there is obviously a big market out there for pickled tomatoes. If there wasn't, I wouldn't be able to move them. Oh ho! Get a sneaky here. The mill always seems like such a good idea, but growing the grain necessary for it becomes a bit problematically, a bit problematic. It all starts coming in silver star and then gold star and... That gets awkward because suddenly if I run it through the mill, it's actually losing value. It's weird. Folks, you're doing great. I completely skipped the chickens yesterday. Oh my gosh, they're gonna be mad. It was raining and I did not go pet them. They're, they're gonna be mad. Oh boy. Alright, let's go. Uh, drop stuff in the house while I'm here. Then go deal with the chickens. Sure, I may be hearing a distant room actual thunder right now. Yeah, the genomes are still working. Let's try and make sure we say hi to everybody. No, Brina, you've already been petted. I have to make sure I don't miss anybody. Brony over here that nobody wants to hang out with. Okay. I did not name that bird. I promise that was system generated. That was not my fault.
put in 43 and I had 46. Well, you know, it does keep me going through the winter. <clears throat> Having a fermentation shed and collecting all of your non-star produce Gives you value add all through the winter. Nice steady supply, a steady flow of stuff that can be processed. And become marketable crop, something some people actually eat. Oops. Wrong. Go. Oops, there we are. We should probably have a look downstairs. And none of this is going to pop till midwinter. But, you know have a few side barrels. Okay, three o'clock on a Thursday. Actually getting along reasonably well with most of the folks. <sighs> Poor Harvey. He's a really nice guy. I've just... Well, I pursued him in my first game, and... Harvey makes a terrific husband. He really does. He has a lot of admirable qualities. Oh, shush, dog. It's just thunder. Oh. Three in the way, and I didn't see... Uh-oh. I hope I didn't miss a birthday. This is a point where Abigail and I differ a bit. Atlantis is, does not get a tan, but is always glad of summer sun as long as she's able to stay hydrated. Don't interrupt the artist, she's busy. Let's go fish. There's one.
That's two. This one needed more bait. And they're trying to burn off some of this bait. There's a piece of bait hucked into the water for no good reason. Ooh, a ruby. Fifty-four thousand. Well, most of that from farming. That would be the end of season crops starting to come in right there. Silver star star fruit, gold star star fruit. The pickled tomatoes rolling over gave me ten grand right there.
Oh, it's raining. And it hasn't rolled over. Dog own it. That's just frustrating. Got another rainy day. Weak. Uh oh. Somebody duck feather. Who's 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 a duck feather? Hold on a second. Shame on me, I forgot to pull up. Twenty-sixth, that is Leo. It is Leo's birthday. I need to go out to Ginger Island to deliver this birthday gift. Okay, it's a rainy day. Let's knock this out. Fairly quick. Knock out the chores here. It's the 26th. The fields are going to have to take care of themselves. It is, however, fruit day. That banana tree is a long way from producing. And I missed one. I'm getting bad at spotting the barrels that are not moving.
access to that will have to get sorted on the way back. I've got stuff I've got to do quick, quick, look, look like a bunny here. have to take care and the fields have to take care of themselves today at good time. Plants will survive. Tended. But better than the animals will. Livestock is a very serious commitment. Chickens get mad at you and they quit laying. Or worse, they start bolting. Then they start moving their nest, nesting spots, and every day becomes an Easter egg hunt. Yay, my favorite thing. Where have they clutched today? Oh. It's over there, under the bush, where the dog is happily eating the eggs. It is very difficult to begrudge a livestock guard dog. Clutch of eggs left by Particularly bird brained hen. Yeah, that's the, there's whoever came up with the, the using bird brain as an insult had raised chickens or at least been around them. Chickens at times are not just ignorant, they are willfully stupid. I mean, like, seriously. Ah. Domesticated chicken has had Way, way too much of its survival instincts bred out of it. Even the ones that we raise in the barnyard or free range on the farm, the heritage breeds that don't collapse into their own weight. Ooh. Got me an amethyst. It is rainy. Where is Leo? Golden coconut. Get it cracked open and find a secret surprise inside. Is Leo is raining. Let's check his house. Here is Leo. I just ran right into him. I'm sorry, little guy. Let me... Give you a birthday present and what I am here. <sighs> While I am here, let us go and a thing or two.
That's great. Just look at this. Good grief. Bit of the Monty Hall. Okay. Look at what I've got because some of this is garbage. That at the very least was. And the hand is just not not so much a thing. I need to go speak with the bird. Down here at the counter, there is a jazzy little bird that oh, I need to load a few things. I have a shipping bin, I can get to it. 620. I can always sleep here if necessary. Let's make a restock on the tarot tubers. Good grief, little stuff. Okay, let's get some of this sorted.
obviously, I plan on growing a lot of pumpkins this fall. peppers because they come back to fruiting so fast. Remember, their cycle is so short. I hate losing a day on them. future, I think. Everybody likes hot pepper chili, even the sky agrees. Okay, I think that is about the extent of it. Not as much damage as we can do for one day. Still have to decide... I think, if I recall correctly, if your partner suggests having ado ad adopting a kid and you say, not right now, and you defer it like two or three times, they quit asking. you only get like a couple of chances. Twenty four nine. Not bad. Not bad. Let's move on. It is day twenty sixth of summer. Tomorrow the penultimate day, and then the 28th is the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. Always something to look to there. As many times as I've played this uh, through this game, I really just don't get tired of that, that, that particular event. for the green one to show up. Another rainy day? That's not good. If tomorrow's a rainy day, I'm gonna lose harvest. <laughs> okay, cool. weather to dry out tomorrow. It's getting to be a problem.
thing that is sitting out in the field that isn't getting tended to because, whoops, dang damn it. <sighs> tended to because the weather has not permitted getting out there to bring it in. That's going to be a serious issue. I got into season. Myself, but waiting for the genomos to get to it. But there's also some of it that I can't get into, like the hops. Whole crops are all planted at high density, with the idea that they would be Juno harvested since the Junimos can flip between the poles and get in there and get it all took care of. here with these chili peppers. Now, I will leave most of it until tomorrow. I got, I got one more day. If it rains tomorrow, i got to do all the harvest. I, I will have to do whatever harvesting I can I make. I think that may be the first ostrich egg I have shipped. I mean, ostrich is not giving chickens. It's not a clutch to get out and pick up every day. Yeah, you know, like this, these berries. I can't do anything about. Starfruit I could bring in, but I'm going to leave it one more day. Nothing else, I don't want to lose the cultivation. If I pick it now, I'll, you know, I'll have to recultivate. Territory. 
Yes, Doug, I know you're there. All right, I got the full collection. <sighs> After five years of work. All right, so all this stuff is going in the shipping bin. There are other museums, or private collectors, or gift shops, or who knows. <laughs> the dog jumped up when I put it on. <laughs> That's funny. Oh dear. Dog's like, I don't know about this. Don't know who you are. Don't know about letting you back in there. Send it right here. There's a lot that ain't right. Bark yourself. We're trying to sit on the stairs, dingbat. Ah. God, just do that. IRL. Such a pain in the pippus. 
Um, the hat goes in the bedroom. This feeling like there's something I am really seriously forgetting to get done. <sighs> I have an off-farm quest to go catch fish. I'm going to ignore that chili pepper. Go smell to warm. Yeah, there are a lot of it. <clears throat> Wonder how many people have already done cosplays of the gold coconut helmet. Because you know there's someone out there at least who has. Somebody is going to have decided, you know, that would be funny. Let's let's do this. Do this thing. Alrighty. Okay. There are a ridiculous amount of to Silver Star. <clears throat> Winter 12. Winter 12, there will be 500. Or thereabouts. Somewhere. We've seen the Grand Rollover once. It's an impressive thing. It's a very lot of work. I have actually done decanting and racking of wine, bottling, a whole bit. Um, it's a fairly labor intensive process. Although, when you are bottling, it uh, gets to be a more enjoyable process as the day goes on. If you, I mean, the wine's a little raw. You know, it hasn't hasn't been laid down for aging yet, but. Most of the wines you make for home consumption are short run stuff that you don't want to age more than a couple of years anyway. Especially not your grape wines. The chance of a bit of tannin slipping in gets higher the more the greater your volume. Waterberry wine is bad for that, and so was uh, the wild cherry. Oh my gosh. 
I had that one bottle of wild cherry that by the time I opened it the tannin was so strong I could it was undrinkable. It was absolutely undrinkable. All it took was I guess one bit of stem or peel or something getting in. That sort of thing becomes more pronounced as it ages. That stuff was... I don't know. Could have used it for wood stripper, maybe? It was obnoxious. Had much more pleasant experiences with homemade wines. Mead. Mead is so easy. Mead is just is so easy to make. It astonishes me that as e as easy as it is to make wine at home with stuff you can like buy at the grocery store it amazes me that there aren't more teenagers with a couple of quarts of something perking away in the back of the closet <laughs> oh good it is a blessedly sunny day for the last day of the month, Abigail is at nine. Oh, I need to give her a gift. She is still at nine. I need to roll that up to ten. Are we going to get a chance of? Offering her, oops, yeah, the midnight, the moonlight jellies. The usual letter, I'm sorry, I skipped past the text rather abruptly. That was a letter from Demetrius, it comes every year, and it is advising me that tonight is the festival of the moonlight jellies, when the townspeople gather for a ritual viewing of the migration of a local species. I like Demetrius. I understand. I understand where he's where he's coming from. Good grief. Um Okay, we're gonna be busy for a few minutes here. Let me go to the shipping bin and clear some space. I'll be right back. We have a double roll over here. Fermentation shed. Okay, let's start with rolling over the pale ale.
my gosh, I ran out of hops. Uh, grab the wheat. Should be the same run. Abigail does seem like really prime spousal and partner material to this world. She has an interest in learning sword play. She plays music. She's a bit adventurous. Has some grasp of the idea that the world's a little bit on the mystical side. willing to get out there and go and do stuff that counts for so much Someone who other human <clears throat> someone who is cool with being out and about in the rain. able to have your back a tight situation in the mines or at Skull Cavern in maybe it would take an awful lot of coding it would really take an awful lot of coding but it would be cool if your spouse could go with you or certain spouses could go with you I mean let's face it Harvey would be useful, but you would have to protect him. He is the healer, and he is actually kind of squishy. Abigail, on the other hand... I suppose I am looking at this game through the lens of lived experience and attempting to some extent to map the two. things that this game gets very right about uh, this sort of life. The cyclical rhythm of it 
is a major thing. A lot of this is going in the house. Let's get in get this stuff into the house and then come back around. It's just going to have to survive. I'm going to have to read. Have to have a hoe taken to it. That's to it. Agree. Feather a lot. He said... We are running a couple of minutes over. My apologies for anybody who has another stream to get to, but we'll be done in just a few moments. Pickled radishes could be a thing. That's new. Starfruit wine is worth quite a bit. Not as much as ancient fruit, but... Oh. Not to be sneezed at. That's one of those phrases that I think of and I'm like, should look that up, and I never remember to do so. Terrible about that. I still haven't looked up the noise the ostrich makes. <clears throat> I've got some fishing left to do is what I've got. Oh, and I should go back down to the lower field, have a look real quick. Just put cast through here just to hear noise. It's that.
Yeah, there's some... Stuff I hadn't picked up. Sadly, there is a lot of Terra that looks like it's going to die on me. It's, um... Not quite this counted on my days. Shame on me. Oh, figure it out later. That's to it. Meantime, let's get this day wrapped up. It is Sunday. It is 6.20 in the evening. I am interested in knowing... ...where Abigail might be. Fortunately... ...her schedule is published. She is currently at the Wizard's Tower in Cinderset Forest and will be there until 8. I might actually be able to get there in time to intercept her. Very close. Fairly close. Okay, shiny purple rock has been delivered. One check mark. Achieved. Boy. Supposed to be able to make Four terrorites makes a poi. Delicate sweet flavor when eaten fresh. Yeah. I've, I've, I've heard about poi that it's perhaps um, one of those things you should only try when an indigenous friend invites you over for traditional food because what you get as a tourist is going to probably be pretty horrid. I would I would really expect it to just not be good at all. Yeah, I mean if they're making it in an Big batches for tourists who don't even know what they're dealing with and probably sits around for a while before it's served and 
you know how that thing goes, sort of thing goes. Trying to mass produce any sort of ethnic food for the tourist market is doomed to failure. Let us wrap it up here. We're ten minutes over and I'm getting a little ranty. A little of 65,000 for the day. As the summer comes to a close, we have skipped the Dance of the Moonlight Chilies this year because of time. We'll just suffice to say that yes, we did go and see them. I'm the Wandering Beekeeper. Thank you for joining me for this session of Stardew Valley.